Good, beautiful morning to you, and welcome to Kingdom Moments. I am your host, Pastor Gerald Kirby of Lighthouse Church in Pensacola, Florida. Kingdom Moments exist to share the whole gospel of God with our family, capital I, capital L, capital Y. Today's focus is going to be simply put, in Christ. But by His doing, you are in Christ Jesus, 1 Corinthians 1.30. One of the very first things we learn, or we should learn as believers in Christ, is the fact that we are now to live by faith. Now, we are to trust in Him who we do not see. We are asked to trust that every word that He speaks is true. We are to rely on God's Word and trust in it as completely and totally true because that's what you and I are because he has said so to begin this truth seeking journey let's start with a, a relatively easy one okay <clears throat> excuse me when when we die when you die where are you going to spend eternity you say in heaven of course yes and how do you know that because of verses like John 3:16. God's word says, you believe. Now, once you have trusted Christ, there are a few things that change immediately. Number one, and the most important, our passage today explains it all. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, God literally took you and put you in his son Jesus. Now, that's obviously not done in a physical sense, right? But if God said it, it has to be true. It must be, or anything else that he said cannot be trusted. He can be trusted. And what he said is truth. If this was the only time that we were told that we were in Christ, that would be one thing, okay? Maybe we would struggle with it a little bit. But there are several instances that speak to the very fact that we are in Christ Jesus. Case in point. Look at Colossians 3.3. Pause me if you have to and turn there. Because the Bible says this, For you died. Well, that sounds familiar. And your life is hidden, okay, with with Christ in God. Why? Because Jesus said he and the Father were one. And that he wanted us to be the same. John 17.21. And by his sacrifice, he's made that come to pass. Now, armed with this truth that you are in Christ Jesus. I have a question for you. How much sin is in Jesus? I'll wait. Uh Uh-oh. I guess it looks like we have a conundrum, huh? The Bible says that Jesus is God, and he's perfect. The Bible says that when Jesus died on the cross, he killed sin, and I am now free from sin. Romans 6, 1 through 11. The Bible says that I am in Christ, and that if I am in Christ, I must be one with him, as he is one with the Father. The Bible never makes mention of me getting out of Christ, as if that was even possible. And why is that? Look one more in our passage today. Who put you in Christ Jesus? The Bible says, he, and who is he? God the Father. So, If God the Father has placed you and I into his son Jesus, put that lid on and everything, and you cannot be taken out of him, then maybe, just maybe, our lives as believers should be different. Maybe there's something with our believer that needs to change. Thank you so much for your time this morning. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that this encourages you. I pray it uplifts you to see your life in Christ as new, that you are in him. Thank you. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you. Love you. All right, kids, go get them first day of school. Love y'all. Take care.